to the extent that AI just ends up being this big industrial race. Who can build the most solar panels? Who can build the most batteries? Who can build the most GPUs, et cetera, et cetera? Mm-hmm. This is not what the U.S. is known for, at least in recent decades. This is exactly what China is known for, and right, where they have like... 20x the amount of yearly solar uh, manufacturing the U.S. has. Yep. Like, why does China just not win by default? Do you think that China is better at capital allocation in the United States? Do you think I, the Chinese business environment is better for business than in the United States? I, I think you can make these first principles argument about these other industries where they're killing it. Like, there's this first principles argument about, oh, well, you know, like the CCP um, stooge in your company will fuck you up or whatever, but, like, it doesn't seem to have hampered BYD Well, people say, cattle. well, look, they're so much better at building high-speed trains than the United States. Right. right. I would never, like, hold up a flag saying I'm really good at building high-speed trains. Like, that is just a sign that you're really bad at capital allocation. Like, why would you devote, in 2025, so much industrial effort and money? Right? They're, they're devoting a lot to solar overcapacity, which, in your opinion, is the key to I future industrial like growth. They, accidentally correct. They call the most important thing correct, right? Which account for something. Well, they're in a similar situation to Europe, but unlike the United States. So the United States is, is the luckiest goddamn country on earth because it's surrounded on two sides by oceans and on the other two sides by like friendly allies, right? China's surrounded by 15 countries who are mostly hostile to it, right? With no good like mountain ranges or rivers or anything to really separate them. And then they get all their oil, almost all their oil from the Middle East, Right in countries that they don't control, don't have strong diplomatic relationships with on fleets of oil tankers that they can't defend because their Navy right. doesn't have the ability to to operate effectively yeah. in the Indian Ocean. But, but, but you're working on this, right? If, if you get synthetic fuel, it's working at Terraform. Personally, yes. Does, doesn't that asymmetrically help China? Which might be fine. Like, it does. That, it absolutely asymmetrically helps China. Yeah. We're not currently working with China. We don't plan to. But like the physics is very obvious. You know, And synthetic fuels have been around for 100 years. Like There are projects in China right now working on synthetic fuels. It would not surprise me if they were thinking pretty seriously about this. Just to spell out for the audience, if China has all this electricity production, and the bottleneck is that only a third of final energy use in a modern economy comes from electricity. The rest, you know, you just got to like, you need gas and whatever to transport things. Or coal. They use a lot of coal in China. Right. And what Casey is inventing is a technology to turn that electricity, which only can supply a third of end uses right now, into synthetic fuels, which can supply 100% of the electricity yep. your civilization needs. So then China's energy advantage then becomes overwhelming. It's, this technology levels the playing field. It levels the playing field a lot. Right? right. But at the end of the day, you know, China still contains the poorest Chinese people anywhere on earth. Right. I mean, but, but never, it, never underestimate the capacity for an autocratic dictatorship to shoot itself in the foot. I don't know. I, I, whenever I, I agree that they've obviously uh, made bad decisions, but even if you have the poorest Chinese people anywhere in the world... They can still be quite rich, you know, like Singapore's rich or whatever. Yeah. Um, also, there's parts of China which actually contain quite rich Chinese people. Oh, yeah. So you had to compare not all of China against the U.S., but Shanghai and Guangdong against the United States. So you can have a part of China that is as big as America and as wealthy as America and as in- innovative as America. Like the Indian middle class is larger than the U.S. middle class. But also it's not, it's not nowhere near as wealthy. Whereas in, there are parts of China which are humongous, which are actually as wealthy as the United States. And in many cases as innovative, et cetera. Yeah. Um, no, I'm saying don't underestimate it, but at the same time, like, you know, we want to find the truth here, right? And, right? and the truth is, like, we should not count the United States out of the battle and just give up. We're very much still in the race now, provided we don't, you know, take extra effort to shoot ourselves in the foot. So right now, um, we are export controlling chips for the purpose of we want to keep our AI lead or stay in the lead in AI and we recognize this is a key input in our ability to compete in AI. Yep. So we are going to export control China's ability to have these ships. Mm-hmm. Um, energy is also a key input in this AI race. And if China wanted to do the converse of what we're doing to them with these cheap imports, what they would do to us is to export control solar and batteries. Um, it would be asymmetrical. It would hurt them worse than us. If they did tear us? Yeah, well, China obviously depends upon like the U.S., export market for its economic dynamism, right? right? And and the United States, it, it's going to hurt both parties to like sever that link. But if you sever the link completely, uh, China's ability to make data, data, uh, advanced chips right now is like basically not there, whereas the United States can make them. And the United States' ability to make solar arrays is embryonic, but it's, you know, it's actually not that far behind China's, right? It's maybe five years behind. If, if we decided we want to produce 100 gigawatts of solar capacity every single year... We're already on track to do that. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.